Hi, it's Prime here from Nisha's Vice. If you've got a new job or have had a pay rise and need to get a mortgage, watch this video. Hi, it's Prime here from Nisha's Vice. Hope you're well. Um, we're going to talk about people that have got new jobs or are about to go to new jobs or have had recent pay rises and are now looking to get mortgages, okay? It's really, really important uh, you understand this topic because a lot of calls I'm getting, people get caught up and get stuck with things and it can get really, really messy with the lenders. So let's talk about the first thing is, um, let's just assume that you're in your job and you're going about, you're anticipating a pay rise, okay? Say you're on, I don't know, 30,000 pounds a year and you think your pay, you're gonna, your pay is gonna increase to by 5,000 pounds to 35,000. Um, will lenders use that straight away? The answer is yes, as long as you can get a contract or a letter from your employer stating what your current salary is, what it's gonna increase to, whether there's gonna be a change of title or change of job, why it's increased essentially, and from which date. Generally, if it's within the last couple of months, within the next couple of months, that really depends with the lender. Some will say, look, we'll only use it from the day that the, the salary goes up to. Others will say, if it's within the next month, we'll accept it. So that's the way you, 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 you get around it. And it's from an affordability perspective, they will use your new salary. Okay, so that deals with that scenario. Then you've got the people that are changing jobs. Okay, so you are, again, you're in a, you're in a job at right now, you're on 30,000 pounds, you're getting a new job, um, and it's on thirty-five thousand um, pounds. How quickly can you get a new uh, get a mortgage? And the question is, is the, the real answer is straight away. I've got lenders that will give you a mortgage on your first day that you've started. I've actually, and it, it depends. I've actually got some uh, lenders that will give you a mortgage within three months of you getting a job. Now you've got to show some history with that with your job. So I'll give you an example. If you're a nurse and you work in London, for example and then you've been transferred or you're moving to Birmingham, you're still a nurse, um, the lenders will look and go, well, actually, your job is in demand, it's with the NHS, um, that's fine. If you're going to start in three months' time, as long as we've got your contract and all the bits and pieces, we can work the affordability out now. And I've done uh, a few of those in the past whereby, um, you know, they haven't started their jobs yet, but we've managed to get them, a, secure them a mortgage. Um, but generally, there are a number of lenders that don't have rules where you must be in your job for three months, you must be in your job for six months, so forth, okay? However, you've got to show history, okay you cannot be unemployed for five years and guess what just before you hit a mortgage you've got a miraculous job appear with a friend okay that doesn't work okay so they will do some checks around that right so you've got to understand that if that is the case if you if you have been unemployed for a long while and now you've been offered a job you generally have to be in that job for at least three to six months the lenders would want to see your pay slips your bank statements, the tax to date paid by you and the employer to make sure the application is a genuine one. Okay, so uh, be mindful around that. There are, although the lending policy will say, um, yeah, day one employment will accept it, it's all subject to underwriting and those underwriting rules really will, will they will assess your current circumstances. You know, if you've been unemployed and all of a sudden, you are earning £60,000, they will look at that and say, okay, well, what did you do a year before that? What did you do a year before that? What why, what makes you qualified to do what you're doing now? So important you seek some advice around that if there's been a major change. Also, if there's been a major change with your income. So you were on £30,000 and now you're on £60,000 because that's alarm bells for lenders. So it's important you get that right. You know, change of circumstances you need to discuss with your broker and you need to come up with a strategy and you need to tell the lender why this has happened, why your, uh, your salary has increased. So I hope you found this useful. Um, we're getting a lot more people obviously ch chopping and changing jobs. With the COVID stuff, there's been major changes in regards to affordability. A lot of the lenders are now a lot more cautious around um, 
taking bonus and commission into account. We still have got lenders that will do that. But again, that's very, very vital. We, we, we know that. Uh, and also how often you get the paid. So sometimes on my form, I say, you know, is there any additional income? And people will say, yep, yeah, there's 10,000 pounds additional income. We need that broken down to, okay, how often do you get that? Is that paid weekly, monthly, annually, quarterly? Because a lot of the lenders, if it's paid monthly, they could take 100% or 65% of it. If it's annual, they may take only 50% of it. So there are various rules around frequency of payment. Um, a lot of people now going back to work, back to employment after the furlough scheme. So um, it's vital you try to get things like that down uh, in writing from your employer. So when you go back, make sure you've got a letter from them telling them that you're going back on full time, full hours, your income. So we can work that out and you can demonstrate that for the lenders. Because when they ask for the last three months bank statements, it's going to show uh, maybe 80% salary or it might show furloughed. Okay, and, and in the in some of the columns. So we need to demonstrate, yep, yeah, that's happened, that's finished now. Here's my letter from my employer to say I've gone back in. Maybe here's my one month's pay slip. So it just makes life easier around that. Um, there's a, there's a, you know, a lot of turbulent time at the moment. So it's, it's important you seek advice. I hope you found this useful uh, and do share and like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. Take care.